Well, good morning, everybody. Let me um, call to order the 92nd meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Welcome to all of you who are joining us from various places in this virtual format. I hope everyone is safe and well. Here in Bethesda, I can't help but um, uh, reminisce as I drove uh, from my house to my conference room here at NIH for this advisory council meeting. It was snowing this morning. So it was, and I immediately said, oh my goodness, it's February, it's snowing. Uh, there must be a council meeting today. Uh, and that just shows I have yet to shed the trauma of my very first council meeting as the NHGRI director, which was 11 years ago. I probably told this story at many council meetings, but it just seems to snow every February council meeting. And so I just can't shed it. Uh, where there I was in my third month of being an institute director and being petrified at this idea. I'm giving the I'm presiding over the first council meeting, giving my first director's report, and we got a snowstorm here that was just unbelievable and completely shut everything down. And we had to immediately go virtual. Of course, going virtual back then meant you just did it by phone. So I remember just staring up at the ceiling uh, for two days, listening to council members and, and other people talking uh, through the phone lines. At least now we can do this virtually. We can see each other uh, through Zoom because of video capability. So I guess I prefer this, but I do think it's ironic that whenever we schedule a February council meeting, it seems to want to snow, although it's not snowing that hard, but it was snowing a little harder when I actually drove it. So it's, uh, it's delighted, uh, delighted to have uh, this meeting today. We're looking forward to a very busy open session. Um, and with that, I'll turn it over to our executive secretary, Dr. Rudy Pizzotti. Hey, thank you, Eric. Uh, I want to remind the council members that uh, the open session of the council meeting is being live streamed and the public can view it by going to the nhgrigenome.gov website and council webpage. Also that this meeting will be uh, archived along with all open sessions going back to 2011, I believe. And all of those are available again at the council webpage, nhgri website. So I have a few new uh, introductions new employees and introductions to, to do at this time. Uh, we're gonna begin with a new council member, Dr. Olga Trojanskaya. And Olga, maybe you can wave at everybody so they'll know, there she is, okay. Uh, Olga is professor in the Department of Computer Science and the Lewis Sig Sigler Institute for Integrative Genomics at Princeton University. She also holds the position of Deputy Director of Genomics at the Simon Center for Data Analysis at the Simons Foundation in New York City. In 2017, Olga became a fellow in the International Society of Computational Biology. And in 2011, she was awarded the Overton Prize by that organization, which is given annually to someone who is in their early or mid-career phase. She was recognized for outstanding accomplishments in computational biology or bioinformatics for research, teaching, and service. Olga serves on multiple external advisory boards, including the Gene Ontology Consortium, the Genome Space Consortium, the Jackson Laboratory, the Department of, Department of Biostatistics at Harvard, and NHGRI's ENCODE project. She served on multiple editorial boards for scientific journals, including Bioinformatics, PLOS Computational Biology, the Journal of Biomedical Informatics, and others. Olga has received grant funding from NIGMS, NIDDK, NHGRI, and the Simons Foundation. She has also served on multiple peer review panels for NIH, including the Genomes, Genomics, Computational Biology, and Technology Study Section, and the Biodata Management and Analysis Study Section, as well as special emphasis panels for NHGRI. So welcome, Olga. It's good to have you on board. We have two new employees who have joined NHGRI since the September 2020 council meeting, and I'd like to introduce them to the council. Can we bring up Anitza Rodriguez's photograph, please? There she is. Anitza worked for the Office of Financial Management at NIH for almost 20 years. Prior to that, she worked at the Treasury Department as an accounting technician. Anitza's title at NHGRI is Stream Liaison Grants Financial Analyst which is a new position here at NHGRI. She will bring her considerable budget and accounting skills to help the stream leads with their budget and tracking challenges, and hopefully bring some efficiency and standardization to the stream processes. Welcome, Anitza. 
we also want to welcome Asya Lin. Dr. Lin earned an MD degree in pediatrics from Huazong University of Science and Technology in Wuhan, China. She then earned a doctoral degree in medical informatics from Kobe University in Japan. Her postdoctoral fellowship was at the University of Michigan in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology, where she worked on ontology development for a diverse range of biomedical data types, including vaccines, host pathogen interactions, and adverse events. She also developed ontology-based methods to analyze large data sets. She then moved to the Food and Drug Administration, where for the past five years, she has continued to work on ontology-based research methods and using ontologies to advance data interoperability. In December, Asya joined NHGRI's Division of Genome Sciences as an Office of Data Science Strategy Data Scholar. She will work on the NIH Cloud Platform Interoperability Project. Welcome, Asya. Uh, I want to acknowledge our Council, Liais Council Society Liaison members, Ellen Giarelli from the International Society of Nurses and Genetics, Mona Miller from the American Society of Human Genetics, Sharon Terry and Catherine Lambertston from the Genetic Alliance, and Rhonda Schonberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors. I also want to acknowledge Alex Raphael, who will be our note taker today, and Kathleen Renna, who will be handling slide projections. Thank you both for stepping up and helping us with this meeting. Uh, council members, I seek your approval of the council minutes from the September 2020 council meeting. Are there any edits or corrections to be made? Okay, can I get a vote? Can I get a motion to accept the minutes? So moved, Steve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed or abstaining? Great, thank you very much. Uh, on the open session agenda, please note the future meeting dates for 2021 and 2022. At this time, we know that the May 2021 meeting will be virtual, but we don't have any information yet on subsequent council meetings. If you notice any kind of schedule conflict, uh, please let me and Comfort Brown know. And at this point, I'm going to yield the floor to Eric Green for his director's report. 